What's good, ladies and gentlemen? This is Wilson for Wilson News. Yes, this is my first time trying the news here on the YouTube because it's becoming a trending format here on YouTube. So why not? Let me just join on the bandwagon. PC Gamer article here just came out today, two hours ago here on my timestamp. Daybreak Games is retiring. H1Z1 survival game just survive. What the hell is this game? Well, H1Z1 is a zombie survival game where you can craft bases, uh, fight off hordes of zombies. You got to find survival items in the world so you can just keep on surviving in the game. And uh, Daybreak Games took over uh, Sony Online Entertainment's development and they were producing a roadmap. And, you know, the game was okay. I mean, they had a really hard time with the zombies in the game. You know, there was either too much zombies or too little zombies. They were not threatening enough or they were too threatening. There wasn't enough loot. There was too much loot. And it was just a lot of back and forth there in the beginning. And But the optimization got better and better. And the game looked ten times better. And, you know, this is, was before Battle Royale games came out. And then the Battle Royale came out. And this was the first Battle Royale mode that ever came out uh, besides a DayZ mod. And H1Z1 had the Battle Royale mod, uh, the King of the Kill. And that gained a lot of traction. That really made that game get noticed a little bit more. And the Just Survive, the survival portion of the game, just kind of you know went down the hole just a little bit. And the development wasn't really focused on that. So the developers at Daybreak Games, from what I understand, they split the game off into two. And you had to buy each one separately. Or you had to buy Just Survive, but H1Z1... Yeah, I, if I remember, I just forgot. Because after that, during the split, I left. I think you had to buy both of them. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a lot of the attention was on the Battle Royale. And so, you know, I stopped for a while and then came back. And I noticed the game looked better, but the updates in the format of the Just Survive portion sucked ass you started off in a safe zone and you can get griefed if you just exit out of the gate of the safe zone i mean it, it, it was shitty man and it just didn't look good there were just too many elements that catered to um microtransactions if i remember and i'm just like see ya but back in the day I mean, it was fun. It, it, it seemed like it was fun. It was challenging. It actually felt like I was surviving in a zombie apocalypse uh, against other players. Again, this was before Battle Royale really took shape. So you had to fend off other players and, you know, hunt them down in a, about as long as you can survive in the world, you know. So now Daybreak Games shutters H1Z1 survival game. And... The Just Survive portion is still early access. I think H1Z1, um, which is what it's called now, which is the Battle Royale, it's free, and it's on the PlayStation 4, so that's still popular. They're not going to shut that down. Um, but unfortunately, what they say here is we are no longer in a position to fulfill its greatness. The current population of the game makes it untenable to maintain, which means... We're not getting enough money for this game. Therefore, we're just going to shut this shit down. Fuck you guys. We'll take all your money. And this was an early access. So that's a lesson in early access. And I learned this lesson with the stomping ground. And that was another game that was that showed potential. It, it had a lot of strength. And the, the, the developer who worked on that just got up and left. Nowhere to be found. There was no really no explanation, and Steam shut that game down. So that's a lesson in early access where you're not guaranteed a game that you buy that's early access to continue going on for years or come out of its early access. So you you know you're gonna be taking a gamble with early access games. Uh, so this shuts down. The Just Survive portion of H1Z1 shuts down October 24th, 2018. And I just want to say, it's nice to know you. It's nice to know you, but fuck you, Daybreak Games. You fucked up the development of this. 
you inherited a game from Sony Online Entertainment that had shown promise, but you fucked it up. As Angry Joe would say, you done fucked it up. Something like that. All right. This is Wilson signing out. Let me know in the comments what you think about early access games in general. H1Z1 if you played it. This is Wilson signing out.